I'm Nona and you're watching Quick Bites, the show that explores San Francisco's love affair with food. And today, you're in for a real treat. Grape leaves, baklava, and kebabs, oh my. Food inspired by the Mediterranean and Middle East with a twist so unique, you can only find it in one place in San Francisco. We're at the 55th annual Armenian Food Festival and Bazaar. And this is extra special for me, not only because I happen to be Armenian, but because there's so much deliciousness here. And I just can't wait to share it with all of you. Let's go. Armenia, its culture and cuisine has had many cultural exchanges with its neighbors. Today, Armenian food is fused with flavors from the Mediterranean, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe. This is our 55th year, and uh, in San Francisco, we're the largest Armenian food festival and widely recognized as one of the best food festivals uh, in the area. We have vendors that come up from Fresno, from Los Angeles, showing off their crafts. We really feel like we have something for everyone in the neighborhood, and that's really what it is, is, is drawing uh, people to see a little bit of our culture and experience what we experience uh, weekend in and weekend out. We are behind the scenes now, watching the chef at work preparing some delicious Armenian kebab. Now this is a staple in Armenian cooking, is that right? Absolutely. Since the beginning of time, our soldiers used to skewer on their swords, and it's gone down through the years where we've developed into these kinds of kebabs out here now. We have filet meat, we have chicken kebabs, and we also have lulek kebabs, which is a ground combination of beef and lamb with onions and parsley. Every September, over 2,000 pounds of meat being cooked in three days. After all that savory protein, I was ready to check out the fresh veggie options. Okay, this is Armenian string cheese, you know. It's all strings, tomatoes and mint and olive oil. That makes it summer food. And what I'm doing is I'm putting some labne. Labne, it's a yogurt, but it's grain, so it's kind of like cream cheese. So that's the vegetarian. When Armenian, they offer you food, you have to eat it. They, they will welcome you and Food is very important for them. In every Armenian community, we feel like we're a small village. And it's that village that comes together to put on something like this. What I find really interesting about San Francisco is that there's many blends of Armenians that have come from different areas, but once they are here, the way people work together at any age, including our grandmothers, our grandfathers that are skewering the meat and making the food, it's really fun to see. It's fun to see everyone get together and you know, do it their way. This is, we call it suburek. It's a cheese turnover if you want. We make it the dough from scratch. We boil it like you do for the lasagna. The amount of love and care infused in these foods is tremendous. Most of these ladies come in every day to prepare, cook, and break bread, all in preparation for the big festival. Nobody says no. When you call them, you have to come tomorrow, we're doing the grape leaves, they all come. What a treat it is to taste their delicious recipes, all made from scratch and passed down through generations. It really makes you appreciate the little things. This is one of the best festivals. The food is to die for. Yeah. It's outstanding and it's all just, just a marvelous occasion. We're outside checking out some of the food to go options. I just grabbed myself a Lula kebab sandwich. We've got all kinds of herbs and spices. So I'm gonna taste this. It's looking fantastic. My favorite part. Let's go. We're behind the scenes right now watching how all the pastries get made. And we've got a whole array of pastries here just for us. The honey and nuts and cinnamon and all kinds of great ingredients. This looks amazing. Mm. Here's another yummy pastry made with phyllo dough. We've got a lovely little roll here. It looks like a very delicious and exciting surprise. So I'm gonna bite into it. Here we go. Mmm. Buttery goodness is what that was. This would go great with Armenian coffee. Now we're making some incredible Armenian coffee. We buy our coffee from Alvin Coffee. They have the best coffee and a tea. These two came from Armenia, specially made, and we enjoy it. Would you like to try it? I would love to try. Would you like sugar or no sugar? No sugar today. No sugar. 
Pick your cup! I'm so excited. First of all, everybody is welcome. And we ask two things when they get here. One, that they try something they've never tried before, be it food or be it dancing or doing something. And if they feel like it was worth their while to tell one person that's here and bring that person, that family member, or that friend down the street to come with them. <laughs> Hopefully, We're going to yes. have to do a lot of eating, so yes. get ready. Get ready. And you diet tomorrow. <laughs>